Hello everyone. Sorry for the long wait. Um, so now we are, we are going to be going over um, emitters and how to, when you're running in the game, in terms with our arrow uh, project that we've been making, um, when you throw it into a wall, we're going to uh, emit a little uh, particle, like a dust particle for when it hits that. And then when you impale our guy, some blood is going to, sp uh, to spill. So let's get started. First things first, we need to create a texture for which we're going to actually use our emitter for. So <clears throat> we're going to go over here to materials. Let's call this um, particle mat. All right. Um, so in here, we need to change the material to, or actually we leave this on surface, the blend mode change to translucent. And then for this one, we'll move it to unlit because, or unless you wanted to, our lighting to affect it. <clears throat> so do a particle color. Now particle color is for, um, it's having the actual particle emitter drive what color this is. You can replace this with your own textures, but right now we, we want to um, let the particle emitter decide what color this is. We're going to actually multiply this with a radiant um, radial gradient exponential. So we're going to multiply this. Multiply. And stick this into emissive. Let's make this a plane. Okay, so we got that. And we're also going to take the alpha, multiply it by this one, and put that into opacity. So we have this nice little um, fuzzy circle. Let's go ahead and save that. We can close out of our material. Um, we're going to be altering what it looks like inside the actual particle emitter. Uh, let's create a new folder. Let's call it particles. And we're going to create two particles, one for the dust and one for the blood. So let's start with dust. Now, if you're brand new to the particle emitter system, um, over here is the viewport where you can actually see your particle. Uh, down here, the details pane is where you actually edit everything. The This emitters pane right here is for when or uh, the emitters is what controls the actual particle. You can have uh, multiple emitters if you want to do like more complex particles. For example, a fire here, an explosion over here. Um, or, um, and then over here is these modules. The modules execute from top and then goes down to bottom. You can also add more modules if you right click and you go to any one of these. Um, and so we're going to be editing this to make it look like a flurry of dust. So let us begin that. All right, first things first in the required, we're going to stick our particle material in there. So you'll see in just a moment, it'll switch to that. And um, then we're also going to scroll down here and set the emitter loops to one because zero means infinite. So we want it to just go once and that's it. Also move the emitter duration down to 0 0.2 or something like that so that it just happens and that's it. Um, so if you want, you can stop there, but we're going to tweak this a little more, uh, show you some of the different parts of the particle emitter. In spawn, um, in spawn, if you go to uh, the, oh, sorry. Uh, spawn. Right here, under the rate, I was down here in burst. So under rate, right now it's at 20, which means 20 particles are being spawned immediately. Um, let's bump this up to like 50 to give it a little bit more consistency. I think that's pretty good. Um, let's make the lifetime 
a little bit shorter. I think it's let's make the minimum zero, the maximum. Let's cut it by half, 0.5. So you have this little flurry of um, of dust being spat up. I think that's good for now. So after you create your particle, um, now we're going to actually attach it to the arrow. By the way, if you want to see your particle in system, you can either drag it in here or you can implement it like how I'm going to be doing here. So in arrow, we're going to attach to our flying arrow. <clears throat> actually, I'm going to put that there. All right. So the way that we have this arrow set up and the reason why we did this is um, we have it so that but the, the collision is in the sphere only, not the arrow. And that directly affects projectile motion because our character um, our character is a ragdoll component. So that means that if you go and basically tell it that if projectile movement have, has stopped, then it can then uh, do a certain type of effect. But if it collides with another object, to do another type of effect, because remember, the flying arrow is being replaced with our static arrow when it actually impales into the mesh. So over here, if you go down to events uh, under the projectile movement in the components section, if you go to on projectile stop, it will add a new event. And this is where we can um, call a emitter at, a lo at our location. The location that we're doing is the location of the sphere on the get world location right here. And we're also going to put that into dust and everything else can remain the same. So you'll see that now it actually works. And we can adjust the size and other things, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I think that's pretty good. Um, you can get more detailed if you're actually going to build it for your game. Okay, so now, the blood. Let's do that. We're gonna start, we're gonna spawn another particle system. It's called blood. And then for this one, things are gonna be a little bit different. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna use the same material as before. Um, and over here, we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. Uh, 0 0.2 move that to once because unless you want him to spout an endless fountain of blood I'm pretty sure you just wanted to activate once um, and then the consistency we're going to bump that up to like a hundred because it's blood and that's what we want um, the lifetime is okay that, that can remain one um, Maybe it'll be a little bit better because there's there's other things that you can do with particles, which I'll um, we'll get to. So, for the purpose of that, let's bump this up to ten actually. Then before we do anything else, let's add in the other parts. So there's this modifier here, or this module here called collision, where you can say that if you hit a world static component to kill, which is good because that means that when it hits the floor it will end it and so it, will, it won't fulfill its full lifetime and then we also want to add this uh, constant acceleration module where it will constantly accelerate in this case we want it to accelerate down so we can make this like all right let's let's see what this looks like Okay, that's not what we want. If you make it negative 980, I found that that is more or less like gravity. Um, and so, just so that it repeats better, move this down to one. Or, sorry, two. Okay. Um, then the color over life, we need to change this to red. Now, 
one thing I didn't describe before, the, down here, this curve editor, if you want something to change over time, this is where you input things into the curve editor. So if we wanted our color to change from, let's say, red to a deeper red, we can do like red to deeper red. But w since we just want it like a, just a, a normal red color, we're going to move this to a vector constant, which then you'll see these pop up. I found that if you turn the first one to 10, you'll get that nice red color. Okay, the size is a little too big, so we're going to adjust that into initial size and make this smaller. So turn each one of these to 10. for the maximum and let's make it two or one let's make it two for the minimum and so you'll get this nice little spurt here and uh, I think that's good I think that's good for now so let's save that and go to our flying arrow and in our flying arrow over here, which is where we actually, if you remember from our previous videos, we traced and when we hit the actual object, we start running these type of things. So we're going to have this thing um, go right before it destroys itself. So we're going to add the emitter here. So emitter at location, make this blood and the location is the location for this right here. <clears throat> um, and there we go. So let's compile that. Make sure to save. Saving is very important. And let's test it. So we have the ground one. And now we have uh, there it is. Do you see the blood spurt? If I can hit him again. And there you go. Collision for the ground and collision for when you hit the guy. And there's your two particles. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the this little tutorial series. Uh, more will be on the way. Um, I'm thinking next time next time we'll probably go more into AI but if you have any requests please post them in the comments below and uh, thank you subscribe and I'll see you again